Welcome to another Light Language with Louise for October 2021, continuing with our themes of Foundations of Frequency. So I was tuning into this this morning and I have to say this morning I got a little bit agitated um, just by, you know, I made the mistake of looking at some uh, media that <laughs> probably wasn't a helpful thing to do first thing in the morning. And, you know, it really got me into a place of feeling quite sad about all of the polarization, the division, what's going on in the world right now. And I had to really take a step back, do my practices, do my meditation, connect with nature and come back to a place of discernment, divine discernment. And so that's the frequency I wanna focus on today and for this month. Increasingly, we're going to be invited to look at things in a new way to refine our own discernment, to choose what it is that we're engaging with, to choose what it is that we are seeing in the world and seeing within ourselves, right? Because this is a process of also noticing what arises in ourselves and to refine that, to elevate that, to really find that ability to discern the higher perspective and what's really happening here because we are witnessing a really powerful transition in the world right now and we are seeing all of the distortions rising to the surface all of the distortions that are showing us how we have fallen out of alignment with ourselves with each other with the planet right just really noticing that and you know, last over this last month, I was doing my Live in, Live in Your Light free masterclass series, and we were really looking at that, exploring how to get back into that daily alignment and rhythm with the planet, right, to support us to flourish, because we're not disconnected from the planet. And what we're being aware of right now, right, what's really being presented to us is where we have lost those connections, where we've lost those rhythms, where we've lost that alignment and that harmony, right, with the planet, with each other. You know, there's so much fragmentation and polarization going on right now, but there is also an invitation through that to, to go above that, beyond that, and really feel that what unites us is so much more than what divides us. It really is. And to see from a higher perspective that we're in a process and that we're in a process where, you know, you get to choose how you see everything. You get to choose how you respond, who you're being in this, right? Finding that place of discernment within your heart so that you can really see what's going on and really make empowered choices from there. So we are in a process, it is a process. The energies are ramping up. I don't know about you, but that week of the equinox, you know, the end of September, um, and that, that full moon, I mean, it was big energies. You know, I had struggled to sleep, and I know a lot of other people did, I could really feel it. Um, and I think this is gonna continue, we're going to continue to have this, this amplification of the energy that's going to either, you know, bring us together or, or divide us. And, you know, you get to make that choice of which timeline it is that you're wanting to experience right now, right? You can dive into all of the fragmentation and the division and you can be in all of that. Or you can just take a step back and, and, and take that divine discernment, that perspective that this is a process, right? And really holding your intention, your frequency and your feelings around what we're really moving into, what we're creating, what's possible. And I talked about that last month, about holding that place of possibility. So, you know, I know for myself, I really feel that there's, you know, I feel that we can do this, right? We are all elevating together. We are going to find that we are connected more than we are divided. We're gonna find ways to live in harmony. We're gonna find ways to come back into balance with the planet and with ourselves. So as always, I'm going to call for a, a light language transmission to support us. And, you know, there really is so much support around us right now, really feeling that support 
um, all of the light and the love that's available for us. So I really invite you to tap into that, right? When you get a bit caught up in, in, in the mire of the 3D, like really come back to what's available, what's around you there to support us all to elevate and ascend and expand. So calling for that now, really feeling that, really calling for us all to receive that infusion of, of beautiful love and light energies, frequencies that are going to help us to stay in that place of divine discernment, right? Not getting caught up in the illusion, staying centered within ourselves. So as always, taking a deep breath, opening your heart, feeling the earth beneath your feet and just allowing the frequencies to be received by your higher self as you need in this moment. Taking a deep breath. Exhaling. So what was really being uh, invited there, suggested there, was for us to not to lose heart, to maintain that connection with one another, really saying how important that is, right? Reach out when you find yourself falling into despair, like reach out to like-minded others, like-hearted others, find that sense of connection again. That's what really brings that frequency of unity in. You know, even if you're in lockdown, even if you feel separated, you know that we have so many ways to reach out to one another. And you can just reach out with your heart, right? Knowing you can connect to all of the other hearts and, and all of the beings who are supporting us as well. So really, uh, that was the message there. Just, you know, don't, don't fall into the illusion of isolation either, right? Really important right now. Um, we have the chance to really feel each other and unite with each other more than ever. So thank you for joining me on that theme of uniting. Just want to remind you that I am offering my Soul Thrive Mastery Program starting in uh, mid-October. A year-long program really to hold you in a dynamic group, to hold you in possibility, to hold you in your full potential, to help you to come back into that alignment and rhythm that's going to really serve you to live a life that's most authentic to you for you to share your soul gifts share your you know really be who you are walk your soul path and um, I would love to have you with with me for that uh, places are filling up I'm only taking a small group so please book a call would love 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 to talk to you and uh, support you to be the best of yourself at this two super transformative time like what's going to be possible in 2022 where could you be a year from now you know, I'm here to support you. I really am. So please reach out. If you missed the, the free Live In Your Light Masterclass series and you'd like to catch up with that, just pop me an email or connect with me through my website. Sign up. I am launching a new website very soon, hoping to go live with that in the next week or two. So keep an eye out for that as well. So I would send you much love, many blessings. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a beautiful month of October. Stay in that divine discernment. Uh, be kind to yourself. Be loving. Stay in the frequency. We can do this together. Lots of love. Namaste. Namaste.